Most musicals are about a boy who meets a girl, they fall in love, they get married, they have everything they ever wanted. Luckily, La La Land has a nice twist to it. And here is seven reasons why it was a refreshing surprise. La La Land is indeed a love story, but me and Sebastian are looking forward to have more in life than just fall in love. Mia wants to become a famous actress, and Sebastian wants to own his own jazz club. And they are willing to sacrifice everything in order to achieve their dreams. However, it shouldn't be a surprise that me and Sebastian don't end up together, because in the very first song in the movie, Another Day of Sun, the singer confessed that she did break up with her boyfriend, even though they were in love, because she wants to become a famous actress. The songs are not just cheerful and heartwarming, they are also insightful and bittersweet, like the movie itself. A song like The Fool's Dream reflects Mia's decision to fall in love just like her aunt who jumped into the sun when the water was freezing. And even though Mia's heart would ache for breaking up with Sebastian, she would decide smiling that she would go through the entire experience again if she had a choice. Emma Stone succeeded in adding depth to the character and her ambition. It's easy to sympathize with her performance, especially for a song like The Fool's Who Dream, or even just the look on her face when she sees Sebastian unexpectedly for what could be the last time. Ryan Gosling is known of being capable of handling roles in dramatic, romantic, or even action movies, but this time he stretches his abilities even further to include musicals. His singing and dancing was better than expected. The cinematography and the direction was a delightful wonder. They managed to create new shots, like the one where the camera spins in the swimming pool and the splashes of water obscures vision. It reflects Mia's confusion whether or not she needs someone to tell her if she would become a famous actress. They also combine modern shots with traditional ones, which makes La La Land a unique masterpiece. We follow Mia after she breaks up with Sebastian, becomes a famous actress, meets a suitable man, marries him, and have a child together. She steps into a club with her husband and it's Sebastian's club. We drift away with her into a fantasy, where she gets everything she has ever wanted. She stays with Sebastian until they both achieve their dreams, they get married, they have a kid, they travel to live in Paris. The fantasy ends, and before Mia leaves the club, she shares a mutual smile with Sebastian and a captivating tune that would always be theirs. The fantasy part depicts everything a classical romantic musical would do but it ends in reality with a more grounded choice for the characters. The movie does not condone or condemn either parts, it just shows them to you and allows you to enjoy them. The movie is entertaining from the first moment to the very end. It starts with a colorful display of the music and dancing and ends with a sad yet sincere smile from both Mia and Sebastian. Nonetheless, the movie is not perfect. The part where Mia and Sebastian fly is unacceptable. The movie does not prepare us for a slip into fantasy. Also, the fight between Mia and Sebastian over dinner was a bit stretched. Having said all that, La La Land is a unique masterpiece. It combines the beauty of the classical musicals with the modern ones. Emma Stone's and Ryan Gosling's performance was delightful and heartfelt, and their chemistry is undeniable. The movie was quite entertaining and deserves a rating of 9 out of 10. What do you think of musicals? Let me know in the comments, and if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe.